George had discovered a big difference between the city and the country. Cement. Then he found some dirt. George remembered that a well didn't need to be wide, it just needed to be deep. The ground was wet. At this rate, George should hit water very soon. George had water. What he didn't have was a way to get it out of the ground. George needed something that would suck up the water, like a pump. A straw sucks up water, but you need a mouth at the top. But the man's turkey baster might work. with a turkey baster? It's not Thanksgiving, is it? At this rate, filling the bathtub would take... forever. George remembered that people used pipes to carry water from their wells. So that's what George needed. A very long pipe. George ran the hose from the bathtub down to his well. How could George attach the hose to the baster? The water came into the baster from the bottom, so George needed some way to connect the hose to the side. Maybe this would work. With duct tape, anything was possible. water was going up the straw. At this rate, George would have his bathtub filled in no time. Except the well was out of water. George had to dig a deeper hole. George had struck the mother load of water. Water spurting up 20 feet in the middle of the city? Not a good sign. See, the whole reason we turned the water off was to figure out why we were losing pressure. <sighs> Turns out the water main leading to the building had a crack in it. I still don't know how George discovered the water main or the crack, but it's a good thing you did. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to say, George, you haven't looked this clean in days. When you take a bath, you really take a bath. 